how to find out the compound interest when compounded half yearly okay previous we have seen uh, when the compounded annually right so it's half yearly how to solve let me explain you one problem the remaining you can do the similar find amount and compound interest on 62500 for one and a half year so it's a uh, one and a half year at eight percent per annum compounded half yearly okay so we'll take the given data first so your given information is principal is given so p is equals to rupees 62500 okay, that is fixed and rate is equals to r percent 8 percent per annum so when our rate of interest is 8 percent per annum then for half yearly this becomes half that means 4 percent if it is 8 percent per annum then 4 percent for half yearly Half yearly is 4 percent okay rate is equals to 4 percent now then time if you observe time is given one and a half year in one and a half year how many half years are there you can count in one year we have two half years plus extra one more half year so total three half okay three half years that means n is equal to three right in the place of n three we should keep then n is equals to 3 because 3 times that cycle should be rotated that means compound interest should be calculated yes now p r n this substitute in the formula amount it's simple therefore amount is equals to then if you observe the formula p into 1 plus r by 100 all to the power n which is a change that you should keep now and principal is substitute values principal is 62,500 okay 62,500 into 1 plus r by 100 8 percent per annum but 4 percent per half year so 4 by 100 all to the power 3 because 3 half years okay just to observe here r is equals to 4 n is equal to 3 n is 3 and r is the 4 now yes then you can get the amount if you have simplified this problem so simple and cancel this 4 ones are 425 600 62500 into 1 plus 1 by 25 all to the power 3 then 62500 1 plus 1 by 25 is 26 by 25 to the power 3 so to the power 3 it is a 3 times you need to multiply so 62500 into 26 by 25 into again 26 by 25 26 by 25 okay just to calculate and simplify this uh, given numbers this value if we simplify 25 table we can cancel 25 ones are 25 25 6 25 2 zeros Again, 25 hundreds are 25 hundred. Then 25 ones are 25 fours are. So if you do like this calculations, you can make it fast. Mm -hmm. Then 4 into 26 into 26 into 26. These four numbers, if you multiply, you will get that amount. So just uh, multiply using this calculator. 4, 26, 26, 26. That is 70,000. 304 so I calculated that is the amount right and compound interest so compound interest is simple just amount minus principal so a minus p amount minus principal amount is what we got so amount is here 70,304 minus principal is given 6 2500 doesn't question okay compound interest so our principal is the given value if you see on top principal is the given that is 62500 so amount minus principal is the compound interest 
70,000 minus 70,304 minus 62,000 finally is uh, rupees you subtract 7,804 therefore amount is 70,604 and compound interest is rupees 7,804 yes so you can do this only the important thing is we need to change the values that is rate of interest and in value rate of interest if it is 8% uh, per annum it will become 4% per half year and in value n is just number how many times we need to repeat the interest so one and a half year three half years so in one and a half year if it is quarter quarterly means we should take six because one year four quarters so just that only change and rate of interest also be decreased okay this is about how to find the compound interest when compounded half year next using this uh, similar formulas how to find the growth and depreciation okay when the growth percent formula for population of the growth and population of decrease okay, depreciation type of uh, questions also we'll see